Okay, let's talk about YouTube drama. More specifically, financial YouTube drama. Can't believe I'm saying this shit. More specifically, Chicken Genius versus Sasha Yanchen. Can't believe I'm saying this shit either. So most of you have probably noticed that I've avoided from taking sides here. And this is gonna change in this video. In this video, I will be taking sides and I'll tell you who I think is right, who I think is wrong. But before I do that, let me explain why we're making this video, what's the purpose, and what's the end game here. Now, I've intentionally avoided from stepping into this pile of shit that is this drama for one reason. And that reason being is I like both these guys. I think both of them are great creators. Both of them are super important on YouTube. Both of them have a role to play and they're both one of the good guys. Now I know there's been a lot of name calling, name dropping, multiple videos made, God knows how many names were thrown into the air, such as scammer, fraudster, donkey, whatever. But the reason I'm making this video is the same reason I texted Sasha yesterday saying, hey, dude, I think you guys need to work it out. I think you need to find the middle ground. So since I'm seeing that's not happening, where they get five videos between the two of them slugging mud at each other, I think this video should serve as the catalyst to finishing this beef and just moving forward. So I'm gonna be the referee here and I'm gonna end it today. And here's my verdict. So I think Sasha and uh, Ken, Chicken Genius, are kind of like a divorce couple. You ever heard the divorce couple argue? That sort of argument has 0% chance of ever getting to a point where they agree on anything. It's emotionally impossible for them to agree. And I think the reason is because they're trying basically here to debate, Ken and Sasha, what tastes better, oranges or apples? And who the fuck knows? But each of them have a good point. If you like apples, you think apples taste better. If you like oranges, you think oranges taste better. And there is a scenario where both of them are right. I'll explain what I mean. On the one hand, you have Ken Chicken Genius saying, hey, the Fed is effectively sucking all the money from the market. And that's gonna crash the stock market. That's why I'm not buying the dip. On the other hand, you have Sasha saying, hey, I think your specific advice as far as not buying the dip and staying in cash is an attempt to time the market. And timing the market is something nobody has the skill set to do. Not even Warren Buffett, not me, not you, not Tom Nash, not anybody. Especially not Tom Nash. <laughs> Palantir, anybody? <clears throat> um, so yeah, so timing the market is a dumbass idea. So Sasha is saying, that, hey, your advice is trash. Not because of your analysis. Sasha actually admits that his analysis is on point. But because he's effectively trying to time the market and encouraging others to do so. And he says that that's really not cool. Now, here's me coming in as the referee here. Ken is an options guy, primarily an options guy. Sasha is a long-term classic investor. He doesn't do any day trading, any swing trading, long-term, unfazed by price swings, unfazed by drama, long-term. So for a long-term investor, timing the market makes absolutely zero sense, why? But for an options guy like Ken, Timing the market is literally, literally what he does for a living. Now, Ken has a long-term investment portfolio in Tesla, yes, but his bread and butter is options. Options traders literally try to time the market. Now, whether they're successful or not, I don't know. But the advice here is basically coming from an options trader about timing the market. That's literally what he does. And then the long-term investor is listening to this thing. Oh, that's a bad advice. When you have two people arguing about a topic coming from completely different methodologies both of them can be right and in this case both of them are right ken is right in saying hey if you're an options trader timing the market right now with you know the fed basically driving a pile driver through the market might not be such a bad idea for options traders for day traders, for swing traders yes for long-term investors dcaing dollar cost averaging into good companies in weakness is a proven strategy and everything else is just bullshit so both of them are right and if they had the chance to actually talk about it without uh, this ad hominem attacks at each other, the donkey and the scammer, then they would agree. And that's what I think. So my main goal is to use this video to get them to agree because of both of them are right. Now, did Sasha exaggerate a little bit and create a little bit more pizzazz and drama? 
to get more views of this for sure for sure he's probably about 60 percent 70 percent of, of what he's actually showing is what, what he's feeling there's obviously exaggeration but i do the same thing every creator on youtube does the same thing i cannot hold it against him we all exaggerate for views it's just how the platform works so no issues there at all now final point as far as the strength of the debate here the strength of the debate purely on a academic level sasha has a better position because sasha is saying look no matter what happens with the market the market can go up can go down can might be right might be wrong i'm still going to be right in this debate because i said that you cannot time the market that's the only thing i'm saying so whatever happens in the market does not take away from my debate which is a kind of a long-standing fact in the stock market Ken's argument only works if the market crashes. Any other outcome is going to make him look like he lost this debate. So as far as just the debating objective kind of points on this, I think it's a points win to Sasha, not a knockout. But I think as far as the argument here, both of them are 100% right. And that's the sad part that they fight about apples and oranges. Now, Here's my final thoughts on this. I hope and I am willing to do what it takes to get these guys into a room or a Zoom call and work this shit out. I hope this is the last time we talk about this drama. I hope Ken decides to not take it too seriously and stays on YouTube and makes more videos. I hope Sasha accepts Ken for what he is, which is an options trader with a long-term perspective on certain stocks. And we just move on happily ever after. That's the only thing I'm looking for. I don't want to see more drama from these two guys I absolutely like and appreciate.